the director institute for niger data studies of the niger data university professor ambili itekwe has said former president of nigeria chief olushe gomba sojo made grave mistake when he included imo abia and ondo state as member states when he created the niger data development commission ndc professor etekwe explained further that it is an unarguable fact that imo abia and ondo states are crude oil producing states but that they do not fall into the geographical region referred to as niger data and therefore should not be benefiting from funds specifically marked for the development of the region Etekwe stated this while presenting a paper entitled Towards Good Governance, rethinking the Ijo Nation's agenda in the past in Nigeria during a one-day intra-media workshop organized by the Olobiri Young Stars Foundation in partnership with the Environmental Rights Action in Yanagua, the Baeza State capital. He have had that if the intention of the obasanjo led administration was to create an oil-producing state development commission, Imo, Abia, and Ondo states would have been legitimate members, but that since the commission was established with the aim to provide extra funds for the development of the Niger Delta as a result of its peculiar and difficult terrain, capturing the three states in the NDDC was a misplaced priority. He further urged the umbrella bodies of the Ijo Ethnic Nationali Nationality, Ijo National Congress, INC, and Ijo Youth Congress, IYC, to look beyond the struggle for resource control for wealth generation and seek political restructuring for the people of the Niger Delta region in order to engender sustainable growth and development. He said, there's a generic term when you talk about a Delta region. And from my research, there are about 10 deltas across the world, with three in Africa. They are the Nile Delta in Egypt, Okavango Delta in Botswana, and the Niger Delta in Nigeria. And out of the 10 Delta regions across the world, the Pearl Delta in China does not produce oil, but it has similar environmental features and challenges like the Niger Delta. So, Obasanjo, while creating the NDDC, equated the data as an oil producing area, and this is wrong. I say so because Saudi Arabia, for example, produces oil but it's not a delta. So, if you are creating a commission to cater for the special needs of a people in the Niger, in the delta, why add states that do not have the features of a delta? We need to distinguish these facts where we are talking about how we sincerely want to develop an area and the people that inhabit it. Speaking on behalf of the organizers, Mr. Bright Igrubia said the gathering was strategically planned to enjoy leaders of thought together to dialogue and highlight some of the contemporary issues facing the people of the Niger data and engage the media on how better to report them. He said, we as a foundation face it is a matter of responsibility for us to retrospect the past and prospect what the future holds for the Ijo nation and engage the media to help us highlight some of the challenges be deviling us as a people. We see this as a lacuna that needs to be addressed so that the struggle of the Ijo's can be adequately promoted. Also presenting a paper entitled The Environmental Perspective to the Contemporary Ijo Struggle, the project officer of the ERA Niger Data Resource Center, Comrade Alagwa Morris, advocated for the establishment of a Niger Data Environment Forensic Investigation Center, saying it would aid in bringing perpetrators of crude oil spills to justice. He said, one of the main reasons for the absence of genuine peace and Developments in the Niger data is the absence of environmental justice. We lack system that could bring oil companies and their partners that play double standards each time there is a case crude oil spills spill in the Niger data region. Every day, our people witness what prefer to call environmental terrorism perpetrated by oil and gas companies with the protection from our government. 
In many cases, oil companies refuse to admit that the spill is caused by equipment failure, even when it is clear, because we don't have the technology to prove them wrong, thereby leaving many communities to suffer without proper cleanup and compensation. Hmm. So guys, uh, you heard from a, a, the director, uh, Etekwe, his name is Etekwe, he's the director of Institute for Niger Data Studies, and that is what he has come out with, that Obasanjo made a very, very big mistake by including those states, um, Abia, Imo, and Ondo, in the Niger Data region. And he gave, uh, gave explanations and reasons why he says so, which we all heard of. So, you know, we have a lot of problems on our hands. You know, I know some people will still come and debate it. Some people will argue it, you know, back, uh, back and forth, left, right, and center. And they will bring some points why, whether it's wrong or it's right. Because even when you want to ask the administration that created that or that added those states into that uh, niger data they will still give you reason reason or reasons why they did that but to some it's all we have a lot of problems on our hands a lot of decisions are being taken out of a you know ignorance or selfishness or let me just do what i want to do not even looking or projecting into the future to see oh this thing at the end of the day will you not boomerang will you not backfire you know what we always do is temporary thing okay when i'm once i'm there you know I will do what I want to do. Even if I'm not there, anybody can come and do what they want to do. And that is it. But just for them to be satisfied or to satisfy their own ego or to satisfy their own uh, uh, selfish interest, because that is what the foundation of this country has been based on. You cannot deviate that. Even the ones that are there, the ones that were there before, you could see that there is always error here and there. And they will tell you, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, standing their ground that what they are doing is the perfect thing. But at the end of the day, in the long run, it affects everybody, whether they are taking it out of a selfish, selfishness or ignorance or what you may tell it to be, you know, in your own uh, terminology. But at the end of the day, by and large, the people still suffer. The cleanup they talk about that's the, that will come up in 2015, up to date, we've not heard anything and people continue to suffer. And the case is like the, the rich continue to get richer, while the poor continue to get poorer. The masses continue to lament day in, day out, year in, year out, decades after decades. The same complaint, the same talk. And people who are talking, when they are not opportune to make some decisions, they will give you beautiful ideas, they will give you beautiful uh, templates, beautiful write-up, speeches, rhetorics here and there. But as soon as they get there, it's a different ballgame entirely. We have people who are at the end of affair of all those uh, sectors, do you want to tell me that none of them uh, know knows what is happening, or they cannot take a, a, a decisive decision that will project this country forward? No, it's all about selfishness, all about selfish interest. What will be my gain? My own, my own, my own face. If other people don't get anything, it's none of my business. I'm just trying to digress. It might not be really related to you know what this man has said, but with what is bringing all of these things is. You know, lack of de a, a, a deep thinking, lack, lack of deep thinking. And what causes lack of deep thinking? Not that those people who are supposed to do the right thing most of the time, it's not as if they don't know what to do, but because of their selfish interests, they don't think about the future. They think about the temporary thing since they're going to be there temporarily. So whatever they're going to do at that particular time to benefit them, that is what they're always talking about. I can remember some years back, maybe around 2010, you know, they were talking about all those visions, 2020 visions 2020 i don't even i can't even remember you know mm -hmm. every day by day you always see that there is a one problem or the other there's one problem or the other and that is what we always you know fight for the problem that happened yesterday today again we'll pick another one we'll start to deliberate on that so then we, they were talking about visions 2020 but now before two years down the line everything went down the drain nobody's talking about vision 20 nobody even remembers vision 2020 now we are in vision 20 we are in now in 2020 all those things that they planned nothing works nothing works even two years down the line then people had already forgotten that uh, this thing it's just they always come out to make a rhetoric statement just to say things that people want to hear that will gladden the people's mind at the end of the day they will do nothing so that is why we are having problems today 
So guys, uh, that is just the way it is. And someone is saying here, I don't know why those people that called their selves or themselves Niger Delta refuse to reason like human beings. Fulani will come from far north to own oil, own oil well in the so-called Niger Delta. Why the owners of the land will be begging to be security in those wells? Yes, claims to be fighting for resource control instead of them to join their brothers to fighting for freedom because one must have freedom before having uh, the power to control another says that man is not serious professor he do not even know anything that concerns the creator of niger data just like i said some people will argue it out uh, someone says niger uh, some nigeria professors need to upgrade themselves away from narrow mindedness and futile semantics someone says you're nothing but a sick greedy man Someone say if they are not supposed to be among the Niger Deltans, where will they belong? The writer is politically biased. The writer must be aware that there are other states who have crude oil, oil depots, deposits, but these mineral resources are not explored. And uh, someone says, but you will be happy half of it is being sent to the north instead of your eastern brothers. Someone say, don't mind this professor or media. His type will be pursuing rats. Why? His house is, is on fire. Someone said it's useless, professor and idiots, you know. <laughs> Obasanjo knows nothing. There's misreaction. Some are, you know, the man is not saying the right thing. Some are saying, oh, Obasanjo didn't do the right thing. Sir, with all due respect, half of Adamawa and Bayesa Saraba of all, all of Rivers Aquaibon, Cross River, are supposed to be addressed as Eastern Niger with other Southeast states based on their geographical location. So ask geographers before you talk about Nigeria map issues. Oga Etekwe, they will soon remove you there. Those states where they get oil revenue or allocation from federal governments, are they all from Niger Delta Zone? You think, say, you sabi pass the man that established it. So, say, so Professor, tell why there was the need for NDDC. Is it not to ameliorate the Degrade, uh, degradation of the environment caused by the activities of oil producing companies. Imo, Ondo, and Abia are oil producing so that. So, what guarantees are there that there will be no pollution of the area that should warrant remediation? Professor, with all your education, you don't know what Ondo has as a job people and a coastal region. Some elders just open their mouth to breed this unity um someone says i wonder the type of profession profession uh this man or this uh, professional i don't know this person is talking about okay let us go uh someone say this man epitomizes the divide and rule mentality sold to him by fulanese it is a shame we don't need your type as a leader you practice tribalism so guys, uh, you've heard people, I don't know whether your opinion will be aligning with some of the people who are really against this man. And someone who says, oh, Obasanjo didn't do well. So let us hear all of those, your submissions in the comment section. Let us really learn from you. Thank you very much for always listening.